Okay, good morning. This is Fatty Hemsey with Hemsey Analytics. Are we doing the morning briefing for you? Uh, it's the 14th of uh, October. It's Wednesday at 8.52 a.m. Eastern. We're going to have two events today. Well, as always, you know, if you're part of our uh, MSA or you've been here before in some capacity, either to a trial or had a package, automatically gets added to your what we call the MSA, more, uh, Market Sentiment Alerts. We Unfortunately, now we do so much now on PMT. Very little of that goes out on a, on a free free basis. But we occasionally we share. You have to give back. But being part of that is good. And there's also a spam button there. If you don't, if you think we're sending you too many emails, hey, we don't want to do that to you. You can get out of the loop. Uh, and then I know we've had emails, people coming back saying, uh, uh, I'm not getting any more of these. I said, well, the record shows you ask out. There's a record of everything. So go back in. You can add yourself back in as you please. Okay. Two webinars. Today's one. That's a PMT uh, proactive market timing number 73. Yes, 73. Yeah, the webinar, uh, since we've kept track of them. And uh, that's at 5, always at 5. It will be recorded. No need to send me an email asking. Yes, it will be recorded. And it will be posted, and we will send it out to the registered uh, people on go to webinar. So if you register, you get a copy of that. Because we don't want to keep hitting everybody every time. So if you register with us, uh, 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 we're not, you're not changing anything. We already have your email. Uh, we we will uh, what do you call it? we will uh, send you a copy of that uh, right after post processing. It takes usually my uh, my time today is five to six thirty. So I have over seven o'clock after here, uh, so I need to be done by six thirty. Yes, the hours are crazy, but it is what it is. Uh, it's better than be crazy and this market and with this economy than to have nothing to do. Uh, so I'm going to be out of here by six thirty, but I will start the post processing and then. It takes probably an hour. Uh, by the time at the seven o'clock, there's a meeting here. Once it's done, I will post it, give you guys an email, and then I'll take Tico out for air. All right, that's what. Next week is a different animal. This next week is we're going to be doing something really, really unique and novel. It's going to be about radar screen. This is a radar screen on trade station, and two of our actually three, three of our most cherished indicators are made into radar screen, and we were just informed that the, the product manager, the original product manager, both for option station and radio screen, Mark Burke, which is a great friend of the company, good friend with uh, P, uh, uh, Marcus Mazito, a very good friend with me uh, since, I don't know, 95, 90, uh, 98, something like that. Uh, he's going to be also attending. And as a matter of fact, I got to get some stuff to him today. We will be doing some extra stuff uh, out here. Uh, let's see. What did I put there? Sorry, there's one here. Yeah, this is what we added recently. All-time high, all-time lows. So that if you get into a trade, you know where you are chart-wise quickly. The purpose of this is uh, we have a watch list, okay? And it sorts by actionable item based on how these things line up, okay? The, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, ba based on how... Uh, the intervals you're choosing, you can even use uh, hourly. I don't recommend it immediately, but anyhow, we'll get into that in detail. It should be a good meeting, yeah. And the number of speakers, I'm, I'll probably have the least role there, okay? So mark your calendar. Invite has not gone out because we have this webinar. Probably go out tonight. Next, uh, uh, we like to do Tuesdays. We don't like Mondays or Fridays, but today's Wednesday. But next Tuesday, 20th. We're doing this at 5 p.m. I just don't like 13. I didn't even trade it yesterday. Don't like 13. Why? Superstitious. You know, all trades are superstitious. Okay, let's move on quickly. Econ calendar. I thought we should stop and tell you that. I think that was crucial to let you know about that. Uh, uh, PPI came in. That's all we have for today. Let's see what we have on the PPI side. All right. Yeah. A tad of uptick year to years. Nothing. Yeah. I mean, there's no... There's no cost pressure. Well, maybe very few industries like plexiglass, hello, yeah, uh, or masks, whatever, but nothing else really. There's no cost pressure. Um, now, we had a couple of trades overnight into the open here on the, uh, hold on one second, let me go there and then come back here. Goldman Sachs was one of them. 
Uh, hold on. Yeah, and remember, Goldman. Yeah, nice. Oh, Murray, nice, up 2%, sure. Goldman is up, yeah, 2%. Usually this and JP Morgan, you got to get it two, three days. So I don't like to do weeklies on them. I like to go out. Two or three days later, they just blossom. Now, yesterday was the inside day. We had talked about it. And we, so we expect the inside day. I'll show you something on the charts. You would see there. And then let me look at uh, U, uh, UNH. I did that. Oh, Murray. That's up. Well, that's up only 1%. Yeah. That's a slow boat to China. But that's fine. But that's that. that, that it's a, it lasts eight months at all time highs. You know? So each month, the new one, you know. That that moment is not going to be easily stopped. Period. So, all right. So that's that's the calendar. I'm sorry. Let's back to calendar one more time. Uh, is there anything else we missed? Hold on. Yeah, somebody said you. Sometimes you talk like a scatterbrain. I am a scatterbrain because I. I but because the, the neurons, the snaps fire much faster than I can talk. So yeah, of course I'm a scatterbrain. Get used to it. Well, as I said to him, get over it. Yeah. Um. That's that's very. Uh, I forgot the name. T est. That's very Earhart seminar trade. That's very Estish in, in common. Est, est was a big thing on the West Coast in the 80s. Yeah. Anybody who had any issues would go there to, to find themselves. Do you know what you need to do? Work your ass off. You're going to find yourself. Come on. Get real. Okay. Tomorrow, jobless claims and Philly Fed. Those who I want to look at, of course, not to forget. This to me should not be green, but what do I know? The Empire State, because that's important too. The New York State is important in this operation. I still don't know why EIA, two, both EIAs are the same day. They should be Wednesday and Thursday, but so we don't have e, uh, oil data today. It's tomorrow. Okay. Uh, retail sales is still a big one. So Wednesday, tomorrow jobless claims they need retail sales to me, to me, are important. And then U Michigan, U Michigan at 10. So uh, Friday, we should start early. Okay. Moving forward. Mark, uh, at, uh, charts overnight here, what I'm talk about. That low and this low will have like 50%, 50 cents off at 3,500. It's still an inside day, still an inside day, as we expected it should be, as we talked here yesterday. So that was good. So now, the key thing is what, what are we doing now, you know, what, where we are here. Uh, hold on. Uh, because to, as I said, yesterday was reaction. You know, we had a big day on Monday. Yesterday is reaction, um, and let me let me pull this thing up. Oh, we're up six handles, okay. Thirty-one and Q six handles. Now, also yesterday, notice that when the bad news first was, uh, uh, and I wasn't here in the afternoon. Uh, I was trying to get some braids uh, because I didn't want to trade on thirteen. So if I sit here, I'm, you know, I get a discussion with you guys. Get a large couple of missiles, and next thing you know, you're full in. Not not doing that. Um, but calls were coming in, and the issue was, hey, another vaccine is not going to work. I said, listen, so, something nobody's talking about. This is mutating. COVID-19 is last year model. Where is COVID-20? We're going to learn a lot from these vaccines, but it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to help us. We're gonna, we should be working on vaccine for COVID-20 now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we got hit. We got hit with this heavy like in March. Okay, so time was behind us. We learned some of these vaccines. But don't expect any of these to really work. This is just, uh, it's like a kindergarten. We're getting ready to go to first grade. First grade is COVID-20. By then, hopefully, the, the substructure, the, the infrastructure has learned how to deal with this. And we're managing it better as as consumers of the potential consumers of that vaccine. So that's it. The second one was the problem. The, the Eli Lilly, not Johnson Johnson in the morning. So I told those who called me, I said, listen, watch for the lows. It has to be inside day. If it is, then, because that's a reaction to a big move up. You got to read the tea leaves. The big signal is Wednesday. So we need to watch how today go. I expect up, close up. Uh, not to say high, but it close up. And we should close above yesterday high. Not above Monday high, per se. If that is, then we're gone. And I think... In, in my mind, what I see, 3,600 is given. What's after 3,600, we should talk. Okay, 3,588 is all time high. Now, I, my mistake was this bar right there. Not that. Remember, remember what happened here. We talked about that. Not that. 
this was my mistake. That means that night when he had that breakout, I had to go long. I missed it by one day. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. One day, when what you don't have a spring with one bloom. It's an old Persian saying. So don't worry. We're gonna crush him, as we have last ten years. We will crush him. Yeah. I had a chat yesterday with the Tyler Digest. As long as I'm on, on track, we're gonna crush these suckers. As we said, we will. Remember in January of uh, 15. There's a webinar on the website. You could go there. I told you, everybody, I said, because we have changed the indicators. I said, I'm printing a deck of cards, just like they printed for Saddam. And they said, except it says 100 names plus on it in the cards. I said, why? I said, there's a picture of every market timer, timer that is ca- uh, carrying or monitoring, because I'm going to go after every single son of a guns. Now, I've been in that top 10 constantly, but I said, no, 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 it's going to be a clear cut. We're going to go after them so badly. And how do you measure that? The number two guy is way below you in percentages. If you shove them down that low into the water, they can't hardly breathe. They're done. And that's what we have done. Look what we've done in five years. The numbers speak, the numbers don't lie. Remember, we, we use timestamp from them. When they receive our email, confirm back, then you're in the launch mode. Otherwise, you don't know because they have made mistakes. They have made, you know, in my case, one, one time. I can't talk about others. Others have complained, but you don't know. But I can speak for myself. One, yeah, one, one email was missing. But they corrected. The quality of a company, especially in media or, or public, publishing, they will print corrections. If somebody doesn't print corrections, it's a BAWA website. Go, get rid of it. Or, or, or Twitter handle. Get, get, get rid of it. Okay, so we're getting digressing here. That's no good. Time of digest. I'm saying TD. Oh, I'm saying DT. Detrender. Detrenders are going good. We pull back in line. This leads. So it's going to get, even if we're going to go higher, there's an impact here. This impact. There's an impact there. These will be answered. So if this one transmission gets into trouble, you're going to see it early before others do. Just because it's in trouble doesn't mean they can't, these guys won't go out. Why? There's a lag involved. Okay. Oh, if you go back, this is from 2018. When? Uh, August. When did we peak? October in S&P. So there was a six weeks lag. Okay. So you, you just got to watch these babies. This is called experience. Unfortunately, they don't say that Harvard B School or Princeton or Stanford. It's, uh, it's times you sit here and get uh, arrows coming at you, you know, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I need to see risk on. This is a still the high from the same period, August uh, 2018. So that's an issue. Uh, it's a confirmation of what's going on with the NDX. Transportation is for SPX. So keep in mind, keep an eye on the detrenders. It's getting a little bit slower. Why? That initial surge always creates this. Okay. Remember, rate of change. We do a lot of stuff on rate of change, right? Just like EPS, they post loss on rate of change. Excuse me. SP1 Momo. We got to hustle. It's 905. All right. We also pulled back. We were at 9 something there. I think 9 1, whatever. It was in a, a, a PMT report. We're getting back on the PMT report, guys. Actually, let me let me go. This is one of our favorite indicators. Uh, quickly, let me go back here. There's a mention I have to make. Let me log in. All right. This is a this sort of legacy, not chat, non chat are here. Accounting, marketing, all that stuff is here. This is the back office stuff. It's in California. We added, it's my honor to announce that, and we're going to do it tonight, that Captain Stephanie Alexander has accepted our offer to be the editor. She's a lawyer, background as, a, as the Army and the US, uh, USC, UCMJ, Uniform Court of Military Justice. So she's very familiar with court marshals <laughs> that I bring up. Uh, and... Uh, at one point, she was even ready to uh, put a, represent uh, uh, Captain Tico because he had two back-to-back Article 90 hearings. If you look that up on the UCMJ, that's uh, uh, insubordination to senior officer. But anyhow, she's good. But she will, she, and she, she yesterday proved her point immediately. But she will be going over some stuff, the text, numbers, what have you. She can't do the charts, per se, but... As long as I've got, but I get the charts a day early or half a day early. So the issue is that the typos, the meaning, the conclusions to be good. So I'm, I'm proud to have her. Now, do also we want to make sure, oh, sorry, one more comment. We want to make sure in this, all of our emails are included. I mean, 
quick old emails, you know, quick email either to Time Digest or to you guys. For example, this morning or later on today, we'll add the launch commands from uh, uh, Admiral Tico right after here. Okay, actually chronological order. This has no time stamp. This is a time stamp. It's always on top, but we'll, we'll go right above here so that and we're going to go back between Nancy and uh, because Nancy has got access to our website. She's the one who actually put the, all the formatting in place so we can keep those up to date to you guys and this way moving forward we're going to be clean now why this happened we weren't like this in march or may but up to about march we were perfect but you see what happened after march plus the otf light project came in and exploded once we moved there to a chat room so i am you know short-handed i'm trying to shore up now our team and do a better job for all of our products we have seven we got to get to all of them so that's our objective right now. Uh, numbers pulled back, that's normal, but look, this is a good sign. It's not a top. Top should be around 140, 120 area. This is the number of weekly highs. Uh, 52, I'm sorry, number of 52 week highs for pure S&P only, okay? I don't care about NASDAQ. That's, that's a lot of noise, but this is important. Plus, that's growth. A lot of growth numbers there, so you're going to be shooting up all the time. You want something that's a mean reversion to, to understand the cycles. And uh, this is the daily, this is the weekly, as plus on top, okay? So we're lo long and long. There's an error in the newsletter that said long from a Monday We can, on, on a weekly. Weeklies are always Friday close. So we have to find out what happened there, maybe a typo. Well, we have to research it. It's one of the back issues. Uh, we'll do that. SQ last night. We pulled back a tad. I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about if this is going to pull up or not. If this doesn't pull up, our assumption about volatility exploding going forward is going to be reduced. Why is that? What does that matter? What, what does that say? This is election time. If this is if this thing stays down here, remember this is the best and the brightest, the biggest money, best CIA and uh, the DIA your money can buy. This is, this is the biggest hedge funds partaking in deep out of the money, SPX puts, okay? This is the tail risk and only the downside. If when you go to our website here, you'd see with that we included actually a, a, chart, a little insert that's always there from the SIBO white paper, okay? Always back up what you're saying. Give us sources what you're saying. People work with you a lot better. If you look at that, if you interpret that carefully, this says calmness is coming back. That you know what that means. Yeah, See, the election is over. The market has this figured figured out who the winner is going to be, and calmness is coming back. That's ticking down. If this go back up, then we're going to have a for now. For now, we'd have a contested election. The data also shows, says that too. If you get IEM, if you get the real uh, politics, with our reporting both sides, you want you want reports on both sides, the left and the right. You'll see. If I understand it right. And I'm surprised. It means the you know, the the vol should tick down, and that means we're gonna rally even stronger. Yeah. So we'll see. So so be careful. If you're short here, looking for Armageddon, as uh, uh, the hunt in red October said that, forget it. You were correct up here, but the data has changed. Just like science, when new data comes in, you have to rethink. So don't jump jump on Fauci when he said day one. As more data comes in, Fauci had to reassess back. We built aircraft. Don't tell me the B-2 bomber that flew looked like the, the, the one that flew looked like the one we first designed. Get that out of your head. That's that's not didn't happen like that. It's its feedback system. So and this is our feedback system. If this is the all-time low, design is 100 to 150. We exceeded that. We've never gone to 100. But if we come down near this 112, 115 area, it's already predicted. The market is above the best aggregate forecaster of the events of behavior. It means the election is over. All right? Uh, that means the terror is going to be so heavy. It's not even a question of electoral college. It would be no contest. It may, be, it may get dragged in court, but they're going to look at it and say, out of here. Yeah, no, you have no standing. So we'll see. I don't know that's the case, but that's why... But that's what this this is saying. We'll find out. All right, walls. Yeah, they're elevated. There's no question they're elevated. Uh, we shall see where they lead us. But uh, if, if 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 that if SQ is right to confirm that, you should be looking at a 22 to 23 wall, not 26. 
Okay. So at the low end, how do I come up with that number? Sigma channels. Measuring something against itself. Measuring its natural vibration. Okay. All right. TD. That's this is for time and dice stuff. Okay. Still no come. No answer on this for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm not ready yet. I've, it's been just too many, too many things going on. And as you know me, my nickname, Patton. I move on my schedule. I get a lot done, because, but I'm focused. I get fish. What's the number one target in front of me? I'll get to this. This doesn't change my world. But the stuff we're doing for you guys is important uh, for these webinars. So, and we want to make sure they're correct. All right, we're shooting up here on the stock RSI. The target, the rendezvous is up here with the green. Just like it was here, just like it was there. When the three line up, the move is usually done. So, the leg, that leg. So, still, uh, the low was made it such that it was slightly up above the low, put it on Monday. So, this is technically still inside day. Okay. Uh, and if you go to chart, you'd see how that here. This is about that time. Actually, I was talking to Admiral, I was talking to one of my buddies from UBS. And he doesn't do charts because he does long-term stuff. But he goes, yeah, it looks like the pressure's waning, you know, the, the downward pressure that they were watching. And this was really a uh, Eli Lilly time, the news. You remember John, John, John and John, as uh, Admiral used to call it, John and John always still calls it. John and John calls this the, the first vaccine to go, to put on pause yesterday. The second was Eli Lilly here, because by then we were stabilized. So... I just think that uh, we we we, we got to think about COVID-20 because this thing mutates. All you have to do is read. Talk to a few biotech guys and read and Google, you'll see. So we're 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 working on a last year model, if you think of it this way, right now. We, they got to change. Now, not that they don't know that. They don't need help from me. But I think that's what the focus should be, public. And unfortunately, I don't think the public has the stomach for that right now. So they avoid it. Unfortunately. All right, moving on. Last chart. Oh, that's B21. That, that's not my baby. Uh, and these are too many babies. There's going to be building 130 of these. B2 is my babies, and we have 21. I said that to a girl. When we had just met. I said, I have 21 babies in in uh, Missouri. <laughs> Poor blonde. Yeah. And then I, she goes, huh? I said, yeah. I said, oh, my grandpa had nine wives. True story. He did have nine wives. So... Uh, and she, right there, she's, you can imagine how she freaked out she was. You know. Were you married? I said, well, I was, but, you know. So, anyhow, long story. Let's get back here. But, no, this is, uh, but I, I, I like to see a day this thing flies. Okay. It's, it's from the lessons learned on B2, obviously. All right. We pulled back. Our rendezvous point is 80.85. We have reiterated that several times. I think anything above 85, I'll be extremely nervous, and you see where that got us, okay? This is like uh, early February time, I believe, and that was, that's, that's, uh, no, 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 no. This should be in January. Uh, this, yeah, no, no, that's early February time. No, that's March, right? No, that's January. It was mid-January. This is February when everything, and that was a big diversion, big diversion, there. And, and then we went, boom. Yeah, this is the beginning of the rotation. Remember Admiral Tico? Yeah. Sell everything and get short. That was scary. That was scary. So I've never done that. I actually said, okay, we'll try. So anyhow, the rest is history. Uh, so we pulled back. We should get this up. Uh, so right now, 75 means first uh, test. But rendezvous is 80.85. What will it take us to get there? I don't know. I don't make, as I used to tell CNBC, I don't write the news. That's your job. Go figure it out. My job is telling you where our rendezvous points are. And believe me, price is much easier than time. Okay? Prices, to predict price action, is much easier than time. What happened down there, you guys heard live a few weeks earlier on the webinar, that was just a stroke of uh, genius by Admiral Tico. But we used past. We, we cheated. We used the past historical data, the, the cycles, which was spring equinox. It has happened. Fall equinox has happened. To less degree, but I've been since you guys have been with me. Some of you, you've seen a number of spring equinox events. That really was a reversal. One was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago was big. Uh, I'll show you right there. One second, quickly, and then we'll jump on OTF. One second. There we go. Uh, here, if we open up, this is a spring equinox right down there. Boom. Right, that was there. 
Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. This part, right there. No, I, yeah, yeah, you see that? Yeah. That's the spring you can also take out. By the way, this is not a regular calendar. It is, but it's based on trades. Each point is a trade. It's not uh, equally distance calendar, okay? And these are about 145, 150 trades, something like that. But that was the spring equinox 2018. And it brought us back to life because I was, this is when I was in a, not hospital, but should have been really. I was in deep trouble. But then, you know, that's why I took that top. If I had end that down, this would be up another 25%. That was a 11% error. When you have a that means twice two, so about 22 to 23. It's a double error. This is a sharp edge, time of digest. If you're off, you'd pay twice because you're wrong and the guy next to you is right. That's how off is, right? So you, 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 it's a 2x damage. So this will be another 25 points higher, but it's okay. We made up for it. We got back on the horse and then pff, our break came this year. Thanks to Admiral Tico. He said, sell everything. And go short. Yeah. He had never done that. So we, we said, well, okay, rare thing. Let's try it. All right. OTF, overnight, what do we do? Last part of a puzzle. Uh, there we go. Uh, here's your OTF overnight. Oh, that's not it. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to open this. One sec. Okay. It's ON. Now we're calling it ON, so it's easier to keep track of it. Over at ON, following Johnny Schmidt, or better known as Island Johnny. Hey, Johnny, what's going on, my man? All right, uh, so what does it do for us? Here's, here's a legal day right there. Legal day, 6 p.m. starts. Remember, you can't reset your data as midnight, as a software does. You got to go to legal day, okay? Uh, so far, it was okay, a little uptick. It went confusion, but now it's rebuilding and it's going back into, you can see from the shape of the Sigma channels, the vol is going out, it's getting sucked out. Here the vol is expanding because now you're leaving range. Vol means you leave range, okay? If you're in a range area, volatility is low. Once you break it to upside or downside, it changes. More quieter for NASDAQ. Remember, the more problem with the vaccines, the more online world we're going to stay, okay? We're going to be using the remote uh, medicine, remote work, remote education. So NASDAQ is kind of shielded. And some of it's not going to go back. You can see some of the companies have said, hey, and that's why CMBS, CMBS, CMBSs are in trouble. Commercial mortgage backed securities are in trouble. All you have to do is walk down uh, Magnificent Mile in uh, Chicago. I understand everything is boarded up. Now, part of that is looting. I realize that. The other part is that. Buildings of that's that's retail, but above it is empty. Nobody's nobody's gone back, you know. So now Midwest numbers are coming strong. Twenty five uh, rising again. Twenty five states, I think. Maybe I'm low, but just let's take twenty five. The states are are hitting new numbers. On COVID, this is a uh, cold season is coming. And again, in my opinion, COVID twenty is coming. The mutated version of this. This, if that's the case, I'm not sure. I'm not. A, I have no training in medicine, but I read. If that's the case, I've got news for you. We're going to be in this mode for a while. Market will survive. Market will go up. We will adjust. We're 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 a country that came from a bunch of other countries due to adversity. Okay, and then we have some indigenous people here, but that that blood says we'll find a way to survive. And that's why nine years we put a man on the moon and back safely. So I, I do believe in that. I do believe in that. So that's what saddens me to see what's happening out there now. But we will figure out a way. Uh, it's not the end of the world. No, it's not Armageddon. But the, but some of our stuff that's happening now is going to be readjusted in our, uh, 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 when we see what happens. Uh, XL Plus, EVB special. Look at MBS, very flat. Someone asked what that is. That's it. Again, it's on the terminology page. Market bias stop. That means that if you're below it, that should be a stop above you. Kind of a hard stop. You know, something, some, something you can really, really respect. No, no time to be uh, subjective about it. If you're above it, that should be your uh, sell stop. So if you're below it, if you're trading down here, that should be your buy stop. And I especially like. The midday, let me say intraday, the day session only, dot D, the dot D session. Okay. Why? The guy's on the floor. That's what they look at. This is a, this is a median. It's a very easy calculation. So, 
All right, here we go. Again, tight. Walls are low. These are the five minutes. Uh, uh, we're going to be showing, by the way, this in a later screen on the 20th, on the Tuesday 20th. Don't miss that webinar. And overall fractals. Okay, again, tight. Inside, you see the MB, uh, uh, Bijan band or inside Kettler bands. Modified, of course, they're all. Uh, you head back. Eh, they're in line there for the big guns. Uh, but we're, we're spending a lot of time at MBS. So, yeah, it's not Mohammed bin Salman, no, no. But if you sit down here, you'll see uh, we have a little bit of a confusion. Uh, it reminds me of uh, that Zeppelin, Days and Confused. So, have more tea? Read some Rumi. It's 9.22. Any questions, please post in the uh, uh, chat room. I will take this thing down and get into post-processing. Thank you.